Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass hoozy what's it over? Are you nuts? The hoozy what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Back on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay.
Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Today, Sarah has a story to share with us. Sarah, please begin. Then, when I got here in 2024, I was young. All my short life, I'd lived in this little town, but eventually, like everyone else, I had to flee. And I... Uh, we heard the Villador was still taking people in, so we walked for 40 days and 40 nights. When we got here, they had just closed the gates. So we camped outside the walls like thousands of other people. In fact, it swarmed us. We fought them off with rocks during the day. At night, they got more dangerous. Sometimes a sniper on the walls would have mercy and help. Eventually, some guy showed up, told us he'd smuggle us in through the sewers. As soon as we got past the wall, he disappeared with all our stuff. Then a patrol caught us. Packed us in a truck. Laughing when they were taking us to the wash. Thank you. 
get the best here. What may I get for you, citizens? Recent change. Ever run across more? Come back here. Guarantee you'll like that. A citizen coming to the PK's rescue. Ha! The CO will be happy to see this. You leave with the best merchandise. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two. Find the best items here. Pretty amazing goods, don't you think? You look satisfied. Yes, please. Oh yeah, give me that. Hope more citizens are smart like you. You came on a good day, citizen. Allow me to help you. Hey! Were you hitting on me, buddy? <laughs> Not at all. Although... Ah, no, something else. You see what life has done to you? Even your reaction to the word fun proves it. Entertainment? What's that? Playing a guitar, talking around a campfire, drinking till you drop. Nobody knows how to party anymore. And people need to unfucking wind. Otherwise, the stress is gonna kill you. So, what did I do? I created this great game. Ultimate, because it's one and only and bestest. 
fury because it's fueled by emotion. And the last part, wait for it, cricket. Ultimate fury cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Used to be a sport where you hit a ball with a bat. In my game, instead of the ball, you have... Infected. And what's new about fighting the infected? What's new is that you just make pure fun out of it. How about that? No jobs, people trying to get you to rescue them, no clearing out buildings. You just get out there and take your frustrations out on the fuckers. Wasn't that what certain sports like boxing were always about? So if you feel like it, just step into the arena and pick up the mace. Oh, and by the way, you can earn cash money. Just promise me one thing, bro. Stay away from my brother, Rum. He's a fraud and a bore. He, he tells everyone he came up with Ultimate Fury Cricket, but it was me.
He used to smoke like a chimney. Butchers are great. Oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Man, looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux, pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. <laughs>